Hey guys, it's John from John's DIY Playground. Today I'm going to show you how to use your key fob to control your windows remotely so that I can make them go down by themselves. Just like this. Push and hold. Takes care of itself. Rolls all the way down. Then I can roll them all the way up. Just push and hold the lock button. Door locks. Keep holding. Once it starts rolling up, you can let go. Very cool feature. I'll show you how to do it step by step. Let's get started. To change our truck's configuration, we just need a few things. I've got a laptop here. It's kind of an old laptop with Windows on it. And it also has the Forescan software, which you can download for free. I'll include a link in the text below. Um, this desk, uh, laptop doesn't have uh, Bluetooth, so this is a Bluetooth dongle um, that I'm using. So I have Bluetooth that talks Bluetooth to this. This is the OBD Link MX. Um, it's pretty widely available. It's on Amazon. I'll also provide a link. But this is what plugs into your OBD port and we'll talk wirelessly over Bluetooth to the laptop system. Out at the truck I got my laptop with the Forescan software downloaded. I've got a printout of the matrix with the different codes I'm looking for and we have our OBD link um, Bluetooth that goes in the OBD port. Kind of got to look down to see it but plugs in right there. And then in order to use this um, turn on the key to the ignition it doesn't have to be engine running but turn to the on position and then start your four scan software we have our four scan program loaded here and just the friendly initial reminder don't drive your car and use the four scan tool at the same time and so first thing we have to do is connect to our obd tool it's going to say make sure the keys in the ignition is in the on position Vehicle's not moving, engine's not running. Okay. So it starts looking. It finds the vehicle, which I've done before. Looks for all the various modules in the vehicle. And now it's ready. So for global window, we need to first go to the body control module, the BCM. So let's go down here and we find body control module, which is right here. We're looking for as built format and hit the play button to run service procedure. It's saying potentially not safe to change these values. Okay. It's reading in the blocks. Now the first thing we want to do before we change anything, of course, is back up our file. Let's back this all up. So we're going to save all. And we will call this body control backup. Actually, making another copy. It's very fast. So we want to find for body control bot module block 726 1701. So we scroll down. 1701 you can see here and for 1701 we wanted to read 0101 Let me get that back over there the next section needs to be 0101 as well and then the last part is 014a okay so at this point, we could write just this block, or we can wait to make all of the changes and then write all. Um, just for fun, I'm just going to write this block, show you what it looks like, what happens. Now, you hear those tones and the lights flash on the interior. Um, basically, to get these settings to take effect, I'd have to key off and then key on. But I'm not going to do that right now because I'm going to make some more changes to the body control module. So now I need 1702 right underneath it. Um, that needs to be 0101. 0101 again. And then 014B. And again I'm going to write these. So it's writing the values. Getting flashing again. So now I have to go to 72630-01. And that's down just a little bit. And so here it's instructing me to make just the first block be 0101. 
and leave whatever's in the other ones the same because it says XXXX, XXXX. That means don't change anything. So these values are fine. I hit right. It's saying you might have an error with the checksum. This does happen times. Just ignore it. Say yes. And again, the tones and the flashing. So okay. And then at this point, we're all done with the body control module. So we can stop um, the service procedure, as they call it. Just hit stop. That kind of brings us back out to the beginning. And then we can work on going to the um, next module that needs to be changed, which is the DDM. So let's find the DDM right here, as built. Play. It's a warning. Again, we're going to save all. And call this DDM. Okay, now that we've saved it, we can start making adjustments. There's just one block, 740.0501. This one here, and they're saying to make it a D, a leading D. Leave everything else the same, but change this to a D, as in David. And the rest don't change. So hit save, or I'm sorry, hit write. Okay. And we can stop the service procedure. We're done with DDM. And then we can go to the last module, which is the PDM. And I need to find it. Of course, it's right above it. <laughs> All right, hit OK. After you hit play, it's reading the blocks in. You can see a pattern here. We are going to save all, and we're going to call this the PDM. So that we're backing our work up in case something goes wrong. 741-0501. I just need to change the leading character to a D and leave everything else the same. Okay, I'm going to write. Yes. Okay. That's it. So I'm going to stop this procedure. I can come back up to information. And I'm just going to hit disconnect um, from my OBD monitor tool. Um, and then I'm going to cycle the ignition and we can see if it worked. So we went ahead and we cycled the key fob in the ignition one more time and let the truck sit for about a minute um, just so that all the modules could boot up. Then we turn the ignition off and now we're out here ready for our tests. So just like I showed in the beginning of this video, if you push unlock one time to unlock, then push and hold and keep holding the button for unlock. Once the window starts rolling down, it'll roll down by itself. It's very cool. So thanks uh, for watching. I hope you learned something. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and please remember to click the subscribe button. This is John from John's DIY Playground. Have a great day.